Hey, my beautiful Sagittarius peeps. What's going on, everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moons Tarot, and I'm coming at you with your November 2022 tarot reading. How are you? I hope y'all are well, and without further ado, we're going to jump on into it, and we shall see what is up for the Sagittarius. Let's see what we got in store here for you throughout November 2022. So what do we got coming up here, please, for the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? throughout November 2022. What information is going to be in store here, please, for the sign of Sagittarian? Let's go ahead and see. Starting out here with the overall energy for you, we do start here with the Page of Swords. So Page of Swords coming into play here for you. You could be connecting potentially here with an air sign, such as a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but Page of Swords typically coming into play. Usually when I look at this card, it could be a card that represents a certain level of hesitancy. A lot of people would kind of acknowledge this card to be the stalker card in the tarot. You know, this could be keeping an eye on someone, someone keeping an eye on you. And granted, that could be the case here for you. I usually look at the Page of Swords as as wanting to say the things that you just feel like you can't, you know, wanting to open up about something, but it just seems like you can't seem to get the words out. So I feel this energy of hesitancy within communication. All right, but we'll get a bit more of a clearer picture as the reading continues to progress. So jumping into the uh, rest of the reading here, let's have a look into the current situation for you. So we start with the Knight of Wands. We move into the Queen of Cups here as well. And then we move into the Seven of Swords. Interesting. Let's get a bit of clarification. Why is the Seven of Swords showing up here for Sagittarius? We have the Two of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. So clarifying Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I'm kind of getting the energy of wanting to tell somebody how much you care about them, but keeping it to yourself. It's almost like there is a crush you might have on somebody and you're maybe too scared to open up. And I think that no matter how much things progress to you and no matter how much this person shows the signs that they are obviously interested to, there is this part of you that just can't seem to connect. You're hesitant to connect. You're reluctant in a way, too, and I think it has a lot to do more than likely with the past you've endured and experienced. Tell me about Sagittarian's past over here. Fool card, King of Swords. So your past here, when it comes probably towards love and romance, right, because I think that this is where this reading's more towards leaning, when it comes towards your past, you know, there was a very easygoing times for sure. There was a lot of easygoing times, but then it turned into something very, very strict. Lovers, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Four of Wands. Everything went perfect. Ten of Pentacles, though. Four of Cups. Then it wasn't. I know you guys can't see all these cards. Sorry, my face is kind of blocking it, but... There was a point in time where you had a great, fantastic relationship with somebody. And that relationship eventually ended and resulted into you feeling left out in the cold. The very last card I pulled after seeing how amazing a past previous relationship was, was the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups represents feeling ignored, feeling pushed away. And I think that somebody here kind of did that. They pushed you away to the point where no longer was a relationship present. So your past has a lot of hurt and pain because it's very hard for you to trust that somebody will love with you and stay with you after you went through probably a relationship that could have lasted for a long time. You know, so you thought that your last person you would dealt with was your forever person. And considering that they didn't end up being that way, it was a very big shock. Okay? So I think that something here has definitely spiced up for you in your life. Knight of Wands here, Queen of Cups. Feelings have developed. You have feelings for somebody. Somebody does have obvious feelings for you. But you find it very difficult to open up. You find it very difficult to pursue this because I don't want to get hurt like I did the last time. I don't want false hope thinking that this person could be my forever person and then one day they wake up and their feelings change. And Sagittarius, as much as this situation sucked in the past with what you went through, as terrible as it felt, it happens to people every day. And 
Sometimes we wake up in life and we just don't feel the same anymore. Sometimes we wake up in life and something we once loved is not what we love anymore. And it is natural and it sucks and it's heartbreaking. And we sometimes believe the people we're with are truly the people meant to be with us forever. But sometimes things are just temporary and that's okay. Because remember, God is never going to guide you to the wrong person to end up with. You know, if you were meant to move into a new direction in love, you were meant to move in a new direction of love. You're on the right path, and I don't want you guys to feel like you have to doubt that. So if there is some sort of new romance, something spicing up in your life, something that is uh, starting to become romantically involved, and you have feelings for this person, don't hold them back because you're scared of getting hurt again. You know, if you get hurt, you get hurt, but the point is the experience that you have right in front of you. It's not where it ends up. You know, the more you keep focusing on what the uh, outcome is going to be in life, you know, the more we forget to actually enjoy the experience that's dead in front of our eyes. That's the point of life. It's the experience you're having right now. That's why our lives are set in the present moment. They're not set in the past, present, future. They're only set in the present because the present's what we're supposed to be enjoying, right? So don't worry about where things end up. Just live in the moment and have fun. Let go, you know? I think it's time for you to uh, enjoy yourself. You've earned it. I think you have punished yourself enough for the past you went through. You blamed yourself countless amounts of times wondering, what did I do wrong to deserve, you know, what happened to me? What did I do wrong to imagine that I was with the most perfect person and that we were going to stay together forever and then one day I wake up and they didn't want to be with me anymore? What did I do? You did nothing. Feelings changed. And it's a natural process on how those feelings change. And it doesn't always mean that that person wanted those feelings to change. It just did. Take it from a person who's had their heart ripped out of their chest more times than you can count. I've dealt with people waking up one day and their feelings changing and it is what it is. But I've always learned that every person I got guided to after I had a disconnect with one was that was a person, excuse me, that was supposed to be in my life at that time. You know, I I truly am a soul believer that we're always guided to whom we're exactly supposed to be guided to. Okay, so Sagittarius, let yourself be free. All right. All right, guys, we got a little emotional over there, but I'm trying to give you guys as much love and support as I can. I want you to know I hear you. I understand you. But I also want you to know that you deserve this and you deserve happiness. And if you keep living your life in the past, you're never going to get to enjoy the present, baby. And that's what living life is all about. It's about being right here right now. Okay. All right. So moving along forward into your reading. All right. Let's take a look here and see how you're going to be dealing with your current situation. So we have here the four of swords. We have the two of swords and we have the king of pentacles. So Sagittarius, you know how you're dealing with this, right? You're saying to yourself, I don't know, four of swords. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should back off from this person. You know, feelings are developing on both sides and I shouldn't because I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for love. I don't know if I'm ready to enjoy somebody. I just don't know if I'm ready. So two of swords, you're very indecisive. King of pentacles, though, there's a part of you, though, even if you're very indecisive, there's a part of you that really does enjoy this. There's a part of you that does really see a good amount of stability in whatever this potential relationship could be. You see it as it's something that could be something, you know? You feel like it could be a good relationship overall, but your indecision here is kind of at an all-time high, so I feel like you're pretty much pushing away this person, and you're pushing them in a way um, that's kind of similar to the way you were pushed away in your past, you know? So you could let the past repeat itself, but if you don't want to experience that, and if you want to experience the bliss of love, you can allow yourself to say, fuck it, let me let them in. All right, moving along here forward, let's see what's going to be coming in here for you throughout your month. We had a card that jumped out, so we had a flipper. We have here the Six of Swords, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Star. So I definitely feel like whatever you're dealing with, the person you're dealing with, you know, they're going to say to you, Sag, I want a future with you, Six of Swords. Page of Cups, you know, I'm offering that to you. I'm offering a solid future. Uh, This is somebody here stepping up, wanting to have more with you than what they currently have. This is more than likely a proposal of a commitment. Uh, This individual wanting a committed relationship, wanting growth and expansion. And uh, with the Star card coming into play here, too, They genuinely feel like you are the right person for them. They feel like you are their person. Um, So this individual has lots of strong feelings for you that are developing rather quickly here in November 2022. And they want to see where this can go. So your person's going to offer this to you, all right, Uh, coming into uh, November. How is Sag going to respond? And we have here Seven of Wands. You're going to be apprehensive about it, hesitant about it. 
as previously mentioned. So I still feel like you are not entirely open to this. Um, and I do want to keep in mind, or I do want y'all to keep in mind real quick as well. These readings can represent vice versa. Uh, so if they're, you know, it can be backwards or vice versa. So if you're not the person pushing this individual away, maybe this individual is pushing you away and it could just be reversed. Okay. So always remember, excuse me, readings can resonate backwards or vice versa. Okay. All right. But as far as I'm seeing it for, here for you, Sag, it's like, you're going to be pretty apprehensive about it still. All right. All right. Moving along here forward. I want to take a look here and see uh, what you might not be aware about this month that you should be aware about. So is there any information here for Sagittarius that they're not currently aware about that they should be aware about throughout November 2022? Is there any information here that they need to hear? First card out, we have here the Ten of Swords. Okay. Moving along here into the next card, we have the Hermit. And lastly for you, we have the Sun. Wow. So I feel like this is the universe's way of trying to say to you, Sagittarius, you might not be currently aware of the way that your path is going with this person, but if you do continue to push them away, you are going to push them to the point where they jump off that cliff and they're not coming back up. So this is where things get a little bit more serious, because if you do care about this individual, if this is someone you want in your life, if this is a relationship that you want to give a shot to, the more you're pushing away the more and more and more this person's going to stop fighting for you because they are currently fighting for you. They're doing everything they can to try to get a, to try to get a shot at this with you. And the more you keep isolating yourself from them and the more you keep isolating away the happiness you could potentially have with them, the closer you're getting to not having a chance for this to become a thing at all because you're a person of, you know, when somebody gets pushed at and pushed away so many times, you know, inevitably they're going to end up saying fine. I'm done fighting. You want me gone. You want to push me away. I'm going to stay away, you know, so it can get to that point, And it looks like that's the direction that it's going in, in November, 2022. And uh, do keep in mind for Sagittarians that are watching, the main message I'm getting for most of you is a pretty big love related message. Now there's a chance this doesn't mean that this is love. This could resonate to you guys in your career. This could resonate to you in your friendships. So if this resonates a different way, that doesn't apply to love. I just wanted to give you guys that disclaimer. It still can be your story, okay? Most of this reading comes out as a love reading. You know, I used to only do love readings. Now my readings are kind of about everything, uh, but I'll read what I see. So if I see the majority of it talking about love, I'm going to talk about love. Uh, just, I wanted to let y'all know though, if it's not about love for you, but it resonates in a different aspect of your life, it's still a resonating story. Uh, so you can feel free to apply it. But if it doesn't make any sense to you, it's not your story. No worries. You can watch this for entertainment. You can click off, do what you got to do. Okay. So Sagittarius, <sighs> It's like your guides are trying to warn you. It's like the more you keep pushing, it's going to go away. You know, this individual is going to walk away. They're not going to come back. They're not going to continue fighting for you. So be careful because if you realize in the end, this is what you want, you don't want to make a choice you're going to regret, right? All right, let's go ahead and move forward. Let's take a look here and see what you can expect now throughout the rest of your November 2022. So what can my Sagittarian peeps expect, please? Moving throughout the rest of their November, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we got here the Knight of Swords. We also have here the Two of Wands. Sorry, guys, if you happen to hear an ambulance in the background, it is very loud. Unfortunately, my apartment doesn't have much insulation, but regardless, though, we have here the Knight of Swords, the Two of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have here the Five of Swords. So taking a look at where things are going throughout the rest of your November, let's talk about it. Knight of Swords here to the Two of Wands. I kind of feel like whoever you're dealing with here is definitely going to become um, a little bit more impatient. And I feel like with the Knight of Swords to the Two of Wands, it's like, what do you want? They're going to kind of confront you about it and be like, what do you want with me? Because I have this vision, Ace of Wands, that I can genuinely give you everything. I have this vision in my head that we can have a wonderful future together. We can have a wonderful relationship. We can have just a wonderful life. And I can see that happening. But you have to be willing to choose Two of Swords or sorry, Two of Wands. You know, the choice is yours. This individual says, I've already made up my mind. I've already made my choice. My choice is you. I want you. I desire this future with you. But are you going to accept it or are you going to not accept it? And with the 501 showing up here, it makes you all the more frustrated because you have that deep desire and that deep urge to accept this. You definitely want it, Sag. But 
It's just that fear of the past repeating again and history repeating again. And the only way you're ever going to break out of history repeating itself or fearing that history is going to repeat itself is by accepting whatever outcome happens, happens. By becoming accepting of not knowing where things will go and where the future lies is exactly what will allow you to enjoy the moments you're experiencing right now. Learning to detach from the outcome in life, to detach from the future, and to just simply enjoy where you're at with somebody is what's going to help you. You know, if you can come to terms and be accepting of, I'm okay if this goes somewhere and if this person ends up being my forever person and I'm okay if they're not, like if you can come to that place of acceptance, then you're going to be able to let go and enjoy this. But the more you hold on to that fear of, I don't know, one day they're going to wake up and not love me anymore. And all this time has been wasted. If you get in that mentality and you stay in that mentality, you're going to furthermore push them away, even if you really desire them. So Sag, that's one of those things that if you really want this, that needs to be worked on. And you know, you have to be willing to be okay with whatever happens, happens. All right. All right, Team Sagittarius, jumping on into the outcome here for you. Let's see what it's going to be. What's going to be the overall outcome here for the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius throughout November 2022? What is going to be the overall outcome, please, for the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius? And we have here the Ten of Cups. Very good. I like the Ten of Cups for you. Why the Ten of Cups, though? Tell me about that. What is Sagittarius' decision overall? The Tower the empress nice okay so now i know many of you seeing a tower card you're probably a little worried i'm telling you not to be worried okay tower card represents a massive realization it means that you're awakening you know but it also is a card that represents breaking down old structures old foundations so that new structures and foundations can be born so i feel like you're going to come to the conclusion at the end of this in november and you're going to say to yourself you know what i'm done allowing my past to dictate my present. And I'm done allowing my past to dictate my potential future. So I'm going to do everything I can right now to grow and to move on from the past that I endured and to not let it hold me back, but instead to allow myself to just be present in the now and to enjoy what's right in front of me. And the moment you start to do that, guys, 10 of cups, you start to enjoy this connection. You start to enjoy this person. You start to live a happy life with them. And things start to, you know, things start to grow with the Empress card showing up here too. You really start to see the beauty of the person, the beauty of the connection, the happiness that you have. You start to glow. You are glowing, Sagittarius, essentially, at the end of all this, which makes me so happy. So I'm glad to see many of you here kind of departing from your past and not letting it dictate your life anymore and kind of moving away from that fear, because that's kind of what I've been preaching this whole reading, right? It's like the more you hold on to that fear, guys, you're going to push the person away and you might end up regretting it in your future. So I do see there's a bit of a happy ending here, which is good. There is a happy ending here overall. Uh, but of course, it's going to depend on the actions you take. Remember, tarot can only tell you so much, right? I read the current path and where things will go and the outcome depends on whether you stay on that path or not. You know, if you stay on the path, Sagittarius, of pushing this person away, you're going to push them away to the point where they give up. If you end up opening yourself up to them, then I see a happy relationship in store for you. But remember, it's always about the path you decide to take because you, at the end of the day, manifest your own outcome, you know? So Sagittarian, pretty intense read for sure. Um, I did mention my apologies that it's pretty much love based. You know, I like to be a little bit more than just a love based reader now. Uh, but the message here strictly came out like this way, you know, so if it resonates to you, cool. If not, don't worry about it. Um, if it's not your story, guys, no worries at all. You can feel free to check out future videos I post or any other awesome tarot readers on the YouTube platform. Okay. But regardless, Sagittarius, I love you. I hope this video helped for any of you that were dealing with a situation like this. I hope it helped you. And I hope that, you know, you can have peace and comfort just being present and enjoying what's right in front of you because the be most beautiful moments of life is not when we're worried about where we're going, but it's when we can appreciate where we're at, you know? So I love you, Sag. Do enjoy the rest of your month. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to never miss when I upload or go live. And I will catch you all in the next video. Much love and have yourselves a good one. Peace.